just said, the Attorney General is from Missouri and uh, Louisiana, so there's a vast censorship enterprise um, across a multitude of federal agencies. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to comment at this time. On, on another topic then, um, so under this president, under President Biden, you saw two student test scores have come uh, gone backwards. Inflation has gone the wrong direction. Workers' real wages have come down. Um, you know, we're seeing programs, spending on programs, um, and promises that at some point in the future the transition will be over. What, in the last 20 months, wh where's the progress? So as far as the economy, as you know, the jobs report came out today. You heard from the president as he was uh, giving remarks at his event just now on the American Rescue Plan, uh, the Build Back Better challenge, uh, dealing with 21 cities. And you heard from some of the uh, folks who received uh, the grant today, uh, which is an important uh, tool and it's going to change lives uh, in, in Detroit, uh, in Greenwood, uh, Oklahoma, in areas that really need it. Uh, and so that is, an, again, another important uh, piece of the American Rescue Plan that only uh, Democratic, Democrats voted for, and also the American Rescue Plan helped turn the economy back on. And that's why we have seen the success of the uh, uh, of our economic success uh, this past year. And you've asked me this, you know, I know you follow economy, uh, but look, but, but still uh, uh, well, here, let me just talk about, let me talk about the report a little bit, because there's some good stuff in here uh, that kind of touches on what you just asked me. So as you know, the good news is in August, the economy created 315,000 jobs, which is important. We have created nearly 10,000 million jobs since President Biden took office, uh, which is the fastest job growth in history. So you're asking me, where is the success? Here it is. Wait, let me finish. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me. The share of Americans who are working, because that's part of the question that you just asked me, what economists call the labor force participation rate went up, and that's important. And for the first time, working age women, this is in the job report that we just saw today, are now back at work at rates not seen since before the pandemic. So the bottom line is jobs, jobs are up, wages are up, people are back to work, and we are seeing some hopeful signs that inflation may be beginning to ease. We saw that uh, in July, right, from July to August. We saw that inflation was starting to ease. And you're talking about education. When the president walked into this administration, schools were closed. Businesses were closed. And a lot of that is because we were in the pandemic, but not just that, it was so mismanaged by the last administration that we had to get to work to make sure that we opened up the schools, which we were able to do, nearly all schools were opened in the first six months, getting small businesses back open. And that That's was the work like that, the that, were, that, were, that was the work because of this president and Democrats. The American Rescue Plan helped do that. And it was mismanaged, what we saw by the last president, what the way that he was handling the economy, the way they were handling uh, COVID uh, uh, and getting shots in arms, making sure that people were able to get back to work. That is just a fact. And so that is, is there a lot of, is there more work to be done? Of course, to bring down inflation? Absolutely. That's one of the reasons the president worked so hard to get the gas prices to come down. That's one of the reasons we work so hard to get the Inflation Reduction Act so we can bring down uh, cost of uh, prescription drugs. So all of these things took work and it took leadership. All right, I'm going to keep going. Okay.